Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Sunrise Yoga with Wanda. I'm here with my friend, Sarah Solshine. She has brought her beautiful crystals. Did you want to introduce them at all? Yes, I do. I, yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was just looking at this guy that just popped out of my deck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this is our a uh, very rare, very high vibe barrel quartz. I, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I lost my little card to it, but this one, very, very powerful, very, very high vibe. And um, I use it to charge my water sometimes. And this lovely- Ooh, a crystal skull. I've been yes. working with them a lot. I call her Rosie. This is Rosie, my, my little, um, rose quartz skull and she's actually I, I forgot I think I got her online and um, the first time after I charged her up and and set my intentions with her um, the first time I actually used her she, she got rid of some pain in my leg instantaneously she's very very powerful healer wow. so that's my beautiful Rosie. Thank you for being here, Rosie. <laughs> and this I got from a very dear friend, and this is my Aqua Aura Quartz. And this one has very, very strong Atlantis and Lemuria energy. Mm, very, I feel it. Yeah. So just really feel that energy coming through because mm -hmm. it does, it, you know. This one activates a lot. Metaphysically. Yeah. Yeah, and cool. it's, it is man-made because it's a aqua aura, so it does have, um, but it's all natural inclusion. So nice, very powerful. And this is our amethyst, very good for intuition. Um, yeah, just basically enhancing your intuition. Very good. Um, actually, a lot of people use it for travel as well. So it's my amethyst. And then I'm gonna probably say this wrong, but I I'm pretty sure this is the raw, this is rhodonite, and this is a very powerful heart healer stone, and it's even more powerful because it's in the shape of a heart. Wow! So if you have if you can get your hands on this kind of stone, this is really 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 great for any kind of healing you have. Uh, feel that in your love chakra. So. <laughs> Our dear friend Sarah is going to draw some cards for the day. Yes. So this is from the, I'm going to say this wrong, Lenormand deck, the Gilded Reverie. Beautiful. And these are very, um, very synchronistic. They did, they're, and they're very, it's a, an old, um, How do I say it? It's an old deck. It's it's based off of an uh, old form of Christianity. So a lot of the cards will have uh, a lot of symbolism from the Bible, but it's it's uh, they're a very awakened deck. So it's not it's not old paradigm. It's actually new paradigm Christianity. So that's a little bit of the history with these guys, and they're very beautiful. So. I'm going to set some intentions to connect with um, my guides, your guides, uh, whoever's drawn to this video, um, sending out ripples of energy to them, and um, yeah, I'm asking all the angels and guides to be present with us as I draw these cards and they they come in pairs so I'm only going to do two today and I'll shuffle them up a little bit And oh, I'd like to say some intentions for this reading as well. So what is our focus? What do you think you want to? I guess like since there's a new moon, we could Ooh, good 
idea. you know, just empower what, what kind, what, what do we need to hear in order to move through any energies or blocks okay. that could be coming up for, for a lot of people right now? So what do we need to, what messages are going to come through with this new moon? Um, what kind of energies are, are we going to be working through, basically? Yeah, what's the focus? How can we focus through? Okay. Uh, Alright, so here we go. Here's one. Alright, here we go. So this is our first card, and there's the there's that symbol, our um, Christ consciousness symbol, and ooh, children. Okay, so let me, because these haven't popped up for me yet. So there's some new energy coming in. Let me consult this little book here. So for the cross, we have, um, I am, okay. Okay, the cross in the Lenormand is a symbol of the state of suffering, universal and unavoidable. It is a state of carrying the burden of others who are not accountable for their actions. The cross we have to bear. This card is the calling card of taking responsibility despite the cost. On a positive note, with this, redemption may come, dependent on, and it depends on the surrounding card. So, so this is basically, I, I believe a lot of us are going through this right now, are going through a lot of suffering, a lot of transmutation. Mm -hmm. um, we're having a lot of shadow aspects coming up in our lives, a lot of... Um, things that we need to hold ourselves responsible for because when you take responsibility for yourself and and your environment I also see the inner really, child here mm -hmm. I think a lot of us are kind of pay, paying more attention to our inner children and that's where a lot of the source of pain is coming from mm -hmm. from burdens is that it's just a an inner child that needs to be nurtured and you know yeah paid attention to Exactly, and and so the child inhabits a place of wonderment, innocence, hope, and the ability to play at something just for the fun of it. It's another time and place where imagination is unchained and reality is taken at face value. It's the early stages of development and where changes can be made and a positive future formed. The reverie depicts this wonderment with an open book of fairy tales, start of once upon a time, the remaining are blank pages yet to be populated. A fairy tale castle can be seen with the hope in the form of a rainbow, an image that occurs throughout the deck, alluding to the original game of hope from which all the Lenormand decks derive. So, and that rainbow energy is where we're really moving towards right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, we're we're so. releasing all of our burdens. We're taking responsibility for our past mistakes, and we're learning from them. And we're coming into a place of renewal of, of getting it's literally back to our childhood old paradigm old and new, new. <laughs> yeah and exactly. that's exactly what's happening right now it's yep. just you know literally merging and this mm -hmm. is what it looks like so yeah. really allow that inner child to come forth during this time and you know we have a lot of assistance so make sure you're asking your guides your the angelic realm we have legions around us just assisting us forward we have our family of light you know a lot of us are connecting with soul family to play um so just yeah this this is powerful so it's get so out, you know set your intentions and get out and have fun laugh and play yeah. and, and what makes you that. what makes you excited and what what do you want? What What would you do if you, if money were no object? What would you do and not get paid for it? You know, like like really tap into that inner joy, that that childlike wonderment. You know. Yeah. So, so those are our cards for this beautiful new moon, and it's it's actually a really powerful new moon. So, and I believe it's happening. 
I think I want to say around 6 o'clock. Double check in your time zone. I think it's 6 o'clock Mountain Time or, or Pacific where we are. Um, but yeah, definitely double check on what time and set your intentions. Because um, it's a powerful one for manifestation tonight. Thank you, friends, for tuning in. We will get started with yoga.